Hey YouTube, it's Kosh. It's Yoda. It's Stella. It's Kiriakos. It's Sean. It's Miguel. And we all are Eurovision, Eurovision Buddies. buddies. Ukraine and welcome back to our channel. Firstly, I want to thank each one of you for your love and support in our videos and we promise that we are coming with new exciting content in the next days and in the next weeks. Today we're going to be reacting to the winner of the Ukrainian national final for this year's Eurovision Song Contest. They've picked Alina Pash with her song. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. No, 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 no. I'm gonna let another buddy do that for me because no. <laughs> Probably Stella will know how to pronounce it. Ukraine is again really strong in this contest and let's go to see what Alina Pass serves us. But before we do so, before we do so, before we go and react to the song, if you want all Eurovision material, go and subscribe to this button. To this button, to this channel! You're gonna like it, trust me! Or not. You can unsubscribe. But give it a try. Let's go and react. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell is this? That, that's me having an orgasm. Oh, no, okay. No, that's that's too much. That's not me having an orgasm. <gasps> For some reason, my mind went to Pocahontas. This is fun and good at the same time. The staging is not something we haven't seen before. With her face in the back, with the eyes. I would like it to be a bit more Stepping their performance up. All right, I'm into this. I like her outfit. It gives me a little bit of Jamal vibes. Soon vibes. Neta, does she have a Ukrainian cousin? It reminds me a little bit of Russia last year. Yeah, they're bringing their traditional elements back in the stage like the last year. Congratulations, Ukraine. The music of this song is incredible. She has a good stage presence. She's she's very. Um, actually, I can say that this this song, this this stage is Eurovision ready. I like her vibe. Like she's smiling, even though she's probably thinking about something very emotional and very true to her heart. I like it so much. The rhythm is good. The voice is good. This is a very very painful song to sing. I think this is being transmitted through a lot of emotions, through a lot of passion. But yeah, no English. I would ditch all the English. Oh, English spoken word. That I may have kept, but ditch all the rest, because that gives us the message that she wants to convey the rest of the song. I have rap. I did not expect that. I like the staging so much. The message is really powerful because we don't have to stuck in the past and every country has to move on. It seems like a hunting soul which wants to be free. And it's like searching for help. I don't know, it gives me that that feeling. It's traditional, but it's modern too, has been ethnic by has everything. I don't speak Ukrainian, but I think I'm getting I'm getting a message of peace and and you know and, and more peaceful world, you know. She's she's oh she's crying. Performance wise cliche. I would teach this out. It's a very unique song to have a cliche performance. Oh my god, she's making me emotional. Can I have a goosebumps for some reason? I don't know why. And you they're showing us like pictures from their ancestors. Oof. Wow. <laughs> Good job, Ukraine! Wow! I don't really get why we have the gigi gigi gigi. Is that something Ukrainians are having in their tradition? The gigi 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 gigi? Ooh, ooh, I don't know. It sounds like a very powerful song to their culture, so I don't really get why we have this sound. If you're from Ukraine, please help me out, because I'm not. Write it in the comments, why do we have these sounds? Do you believe that we have these sounds based on the context of the song? I really enjoy the song. I said everything I had to say during my reaction. Performance, I find it cliche and I feel that it needs to be um, elaborated for Eurovision to be much, much better because we've seen everything before and in a context that it doesn't really suit the song in my opinion, 
I would also teach all the lyrics uh, that are in English out, except from the part that we have the spoken word. Because this song could be an amazing, amazing song for Ukraine. The music is incredible, her voice is incredible, it's such a unique song. I like the clothes, so it could be a moment for Ukraine to be high again. Honestly, her energy really transcends through this performance. You can tell like she is very much into what she's saying, even though I have no idea what she's saying, what she is trying to tell us about her ancestors. But yeah, this is magical and certainly more original than what we've got so far. Oh my god! I want to say so many things about this song. I think Ukraine is gonna be again in top 10 and probably in top 5. I really like this song, I really like the performance, I like the staging, I like the message of the song, I like everything. And I really hope Ukraine is gonna be to win and everything is gonna be fine in Ukraine. This song is what they need this year, so well done Ukraine, this is the right song and I really want to see you in Turin. Let's get real, okay? Uh, that's my personal opinion. The song is nice, it's quite melodic, it's, it's angelic. She's like Dina, the war princess, yes, that's that's what, uh, what reminds me. So it, it looks like her, she's like a warrior for her country and um, and to be honest with, with the current you know, situation that, that we're having, uh, of course, in Eurovision, you shouldn't be conveying political messages, but I think it is somehow a, a message of peace, and 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 of course, it's it's a really difficult situation because we we are here having a you know we are free, um, and and these people in Ukraine and are having this major conflict. Well, that was special. Like, Ukraine is one of my favorite countries in the Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, first, because they have never failed to qualify for the grand finals. And this means that in their elements of the songs that they're bringing in the Eurovision Song Contest makes to steal the other people's attention to make to vote them. And that's special. That's Ukraine. 100% the rating qualifying. So, before I give the reaction and the reviews, I think this is a sure qualifier. Of course, this is going to qualify for the grand final. Firstly, because it has some traditional elements, ethnic. Alina can sing. Alina can sing and she can sing very well. Like her high notes. She can do this thing like. <laughs> I don't know how to do that because it's something that she can do uh, well more than me. But I think that uh, this is a sure qualifier. Like the song is completed. Also, the choir that uh, is singing with her, like all they are in a harmonic way, which makes this song very, very nice entry. Like, I will listen this, uh, I will repeat this song, listen in my shuffle and in my playlist. Maybe the, the only thing that I'm a bit, uh, mm, that I'm, I wouldn't like them to have done it, it's the, the English part. Because they start and they bring the Ukrainian atmosphere and their traditional el elements. And uh, changing them after in English, it makes them lose a bit the atmosphere that we got from the Ukrainian uh, language. It's still perfect. It doesn't make that that less uh, less valuable for the Eurovision state. But I mean, would be more special if they would would have kept it in uh, in Ukraine. This is beautiful. Um, it really touched me. It gave me goosebumps. It gave me brevity. It's only the second song to give me brevity in this Eurovision season, Italy and Ukraine. And it's interesting because Italy and Ukraine last year were the top two in the televote. And they were the most authentic songs. And this year, so far in this lineup, they are the ones that are bringing the most authenticity, in my opinion. And, you know, watch them be the pioneers of the televote in Eurovision 2022 again. Back to Alina Pash. This song is amazing. Um, it's... You can always count on Ukraine for bringing an ethnic flavor that is representative to the musical culture. You can always count on Ukraine to take an element of music, in, of the music industry that is mainstream, and spice it up well enough to give it that local flavor. 
you can always count on Ukraine to give you something quality. And this is exactly what this is. Quality written all over it. That's what we thought about Ukraine this year's entry for the Eurovision 2022. As you already know, if you haven't done it yet, we invite you to subscribe to our channel, give this video a big thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new content that is coming in this channel. Thank you very much for your love and support and we give you a big hug. Bye!